Vistios. That's a lot of chopped trees. The lumber would be a fine addition to any ship. Everyone knows the finest lumber comes from Hios. But the Balaka in charge of Lesbos keeps trading our product with other city-states. He's gaining influence, and we are losing profits. Leaders have their reasons. Maybe his dealings help more than you know. How is using our lumber to strengthen the fleets of other nations helping? No! He has his own interests at heart, not the interests of Lesbos. Then he's no leader. Exactly. And if we remove the source of the problem, the problem will disappear with it. The people of Lesbos deserve to benefit from its resources. Can I hire you to help? I can take care of the problem. I'll remove the problem in Mytilene for you. When you're finished, I'll send the reward to your ship. Another cultist. Help! Someone please help me! Calm down and tell me what's wrong. My husband, he's late. No, missing. He and his friends have tracked a giant wolf south of Mytilini. They want its belt. He better be a good hunter. Without knowing, all I can do is worry. If you say so. Can I hire you to find my husband and kill the giant wolf for me? Why would I need to kill the wolf? I can just bring back your husband and his friend. If you don't, those two idiots will continue their hunt. I need this nightmare to stop, and I'll give you my husband's helmet as payment. I'll find your husband and kill the giant wolf once and for all. Thank you, Mistios. If there's anything I can do to help, I'll find your husband and his friend, and kill the giant wolf for you. May Artemis guide your arrows. Found one, killed by the wolf. I wonder if this is the husband. Blood. The wolf must have dragged the other man. To a cave, maybe. But if it's dead, what killed these men? Who? Who's there? A woman sent me to kill a giant wolf and save her husband and his friend. I'm the friend. Her husband, he's dead. We killed the giant wolf, but she was full of pups. A terrible mistake. We didn't know. What's down there? We, um, finished skinning the sea wolf, then heard a sad and terrible howl. It was the mate. It tore into my friend and dragged me here. It's waiting. It wants revenge. You've got to kill it, or we die! I'm not here to judge. I was hired to kill a wolf. Wait here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My husband hasn't returned. Please tell me he's coming. Your husband is dead. No! But I killed the wolf and brought you its pelt. You can take comfort knowing he was avenged. 
comfort? Avenged? My husband is dead. Nothing will ever change that fact. Take his helmet and leave. Brave me! Do you have fear in your heart? I should cut out yours just for asking. Ha! <laughs> I have a highly lucrative job offer. A dangerous one, too. If you had fear in your heart, you might not be fit for the task at hand. Nobody scares me. Ah, but I'm not talking about a person. I'm talking about the most dangerous and unpredictable creatures alive. Bears. What do you want with them? I need some skins to make some breastplates. The best come from Shios Island, north of Shios City. I'll make one for you too, if you get them for me. I'll get the bearskins for you. Excellent! If you survive, I'll reward you with the finest breastplate ever created. I have the feeling you could talk about bears all day. I'll return when I have the skins. Do hurry. I've got paying customers waiting for breastplates made from those skins. I need to sail to Hios Island to get the bearskins. That's all of the skins. It's time to sail back to Mitilini and collect my breastplate. Do you have the skins? I have your bear skins. Most impressive! Not many people have faced the majestic bear and lived to tell the tale. It's only fitting you receive a breastplate for your bravery. I'm here. Now, are you going to tell me what's going on? Sisters, as decreed by our lore as set down by Artemis herself, the time of my trial has arrived. To that end, I present Cassandra! Hi, Hades. What's going on here? It's all right. You have nothing to fear. Enough with the mysteries. I want the truth. Every generation, Artemis sends her messengers into the wild. These creatures are assigned to her daughters that a challenger walks the world. One worthy to lead. Lead? What are you talking about? Defeat me in mortal combat and take up the mantle of leader of the daughters of Artemis. Refuse, and you shall be nothing to us, as you were before. Leader? Yes. Kill me, and the daughters of Artemis will be your allies. The gods have brought us together for this moment. Whatever your choice, there is no turning back. Daphne, I can't kill you. I thought we'd become friends. This is the way of my people. I don't make the rules. I follow the will of the goddess. I cherish our friendship. But Artemis and tradition. My like is tradition. I will not take the life of someone I respect, I admire, I... Would you spit in the eyes of the gods? From the moment we first met, I felt a... kinship. Tell me you don't feel it too. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You're killing me! Daphne... No! I will not defy Artemis. Though it may break my heart, I pledged myself to her long ago. But, Daphne... I will not break my vow. I'm sorry. But... Go! And do not return! If we meet again, I will kill you. Turn away, Dragnistios! What's wrong? I've dedicated my life to becoming a daughter of Artemis, but they said I'm not tough enough to join them. Following others is a sign of weakness. But I've followed Artemis for so long. Your life is your own. If you've lost your purpose, find another one. A new life purpose? I wouldn't even know where to begin. No, I'm not giving up that easily. I have an idea. What? I'll join them anyway. 
I'll infiltrate their village and live among them. Can you help me? I'll pay you all the drachmi I have. I'll help you. The daughters of Artemis are dangerous. And if you're found out... I accept the risks. What I'll need you to do is get me a piece of their armor, headgear and boots. I'll come back when I have the gear. Thank you, Mistios. You'll have to be stealthy to get the items, and please avoid harming any of the daughters if you can. I've got the gear you asked for. But... remember... The Daughters of Artemis are legendary warriors. If you choose to infiltrate them, it's likely you'll be killed. What choice do I have? Find a new path that lets you really live. You're just like them, thinking I'm not tough enough. Taking a life isn't easy, and it can't be undone. You aren't the killer. You don't know me. I can do it. I can see good in you. You're passionate, determined. Why not help others? Really? You think I could do that? I know. I'll become a priestess and join a temple. Thank you, Mistios. The blood of the enemy will show our leaders that my strategy is the right one. These seals should help convince them. You've done well. Our troops are on the move. They underestimate Spartans. They consider me much lower than a Spartan. Time to strike again. Athenian command will be slow to retaliate. Ready to kill more of their fort commanders? I'll kill the commanders and clear the way for your troops. Only fools want war. And so far it seems both sides are made of fools. Good news, General? Athenian commanders have been dismissed for negligence because of my tactics. Better unemployed than dead. You're proving a solid ally. There's no time to lose. We need to control the enemy forts. Let me ask you something first. Waste of time. Kere. Why are you still here? Go kill the enemy command. Consider it done. Are these people harassing you? Harassing him? We're his parents! I told you, Mother. This is for your protection. Protection from what, exactly? He just got back from Delphi. Spoke with the Oracle. Been out of his mind ever since. She revealed my prophecy. My mind has never been more clear. She said I would do unspeakable things to my parents. That Mother's blood would stain the earth. And Pater would scream to the gods in agony. Oracles and prophecies do more harm than good. You should listen to your gut. What are you doing? Listening to my gut. And it's telling me my parents will suffer if you don't help me. Here we go. You could save my parents from my vicious wrath. You don't have a vicious bone in your body. Quiet, Pater. Me and the Missios are talking. My sword and shield. Gifts from Mater and Pater. We must return them to my parents, so they can defend themselves from my ferocious temper. All right, Subidio. I'll get these weapons for you. For a price. Of course! My parents will gladly pay you for your troubles. What?! What?! Seek out Costa, the village blacksmith. I brought him the sword to be sharpened not too long ago. And the shield? This will be trickier. I'll explain when you return from the blacksmith. Can't wait. You are being least. superstitious! Land of salt you mustn't free and me. more salt. These robes are the only thing between my parents and my Please excuse. Go see the glass and get me my sword. Aphrodite on Earth! Uh, my name is Costa, at your service. Cassandra. Whatever you need, name it, it's yours. I could bend some metal for you, oil, those rippling muscles, uh, fix that broken spear. I'm looking for a sword. Belongs to Supideo. Ah, Supideo. Love that boy. Bit on the thin side, if you ask me. His parents feed him nothing. Yes. Well, 
He needs his sword back. And I'd love to give it to you. His sword, I mean. Uh, but I can't just uh, hand over swords to every gorgeous warrior who walks by. Give me the sword. And I'll make this a day you'll never forget. Oh, I'm... I... Uh, I just... Uh, that would make every dream I've ever had come true. Uh, there's just one tiny problem. Uh, you see, my spear is also broken, if you catch my meaning. Shame. But... Uh, there are special flowers in the forest beyond the Xerxes military fort, planted by Aphrodite herself. They really help to, um, reforge, uh, if you know what I mean. Fine. I'll get the flowers and you'll give me the spear. I mean, sword. I mean, <clears throat> don't go anywhere. Enough to stop the blacksmith's flame. Gorgeous, Mistios. You take my breath away. Did you bring the flowers? I can't even go flower picking without some beast trying to kill me. But yes, I have them. Perfect. So, did you mean what you said about making this a day I'd never forget? Enough talking. Eat your plants. That was... incredible. Thank Aphrodite. <laughs> Thank all the gods. Here, as promised. I'll never forget you. No, you won't. You should get this back to Supidio's parents before he does anything... Stupidio. Mistios, you've returned. Did you bring the sword? I did. Thank the gods. I knew I could count on you. But this is only one of the items I needed. And I have two parents. So tell me about this shield. Well, according to my parents, it was stolen while I was visiting the Oracle of Delphi. Stolen? It's as good as gone, then. I overheard Mater and Pater whispering about it. They mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. Talked about the thief as if they knew her. Strange. Go to the cave, Mistios. Bring me back my shield. Only then will my parents be truly safe from my fury. Find the cave near the Red Lake. Time to find this thief. Subithil mentioned the cave beyond the Red Lake. Strange that his parents knew this. They should get the shield back themselves. Find the shield? I did. Now you can protect yourselves from the prophecy. So, you found the thief? Oh, yes. Cut her in half. She won't steal anything from anyone ever again. And what about the blacksmith? Oh, he's very much alive. We did things in the back of his workshop that would make Aphrodite blush. You didn't. This is awful. Mater? Pater, what's wrong? You're safe. The prophecy's broken. Actually, there's something we've been meaning to tell you. Supidio, you were adopted. What? A young couple brought you to us. They knew we'd give you a better home. That sword and shield is your inheritance from them. Wait. So the thief 
And the blacksmith? Are Supidio's birth parents. You killed his mother and fucked his pater. But the prophecy said pater would scream to the gods in agony. Oh, he screamed, but not in agony. Ah! Ah! You killed mother and had sex with pater. Supidio, I had no idea. I can't get the image out of my head. I don't want to see anymore. Ah! I'm blind, Mistios. Are you happy? My dreams are forever haunted. Mother will bleed, father will scream. You amateurs are wasting my time. These men look like they need a doctor. They're lousy sparring partners. Every last one. I need professionals to practice with before the Battle of 100 Hands. I need a champion. Maybe your champion has arrived. Is that right? If you're serious, I am a sanctioned competitor in the battle. You practice with me. And Rakios will let both of us officially enter. This battle, the Battle of 100 Hands, is the most grueling contest in the Greek world. The body count is high, and the chance of success low. Are you sure that's something you want to train for? I'm prepared to work hard. The rest lies with the fates. Humility is a fine trait in a warrior, as long as it's hiding true ferocity below the surface. That's what's needed in the battle. Let's say I want to fight in the Battle of 100 Hands. Then fight me, and prove you are a worthy training companion. You asked for it. Come on, Mistyos! Are you ready? You need to push me! Ah, ah, uh. It seems you are the champion I've been looking for. A real Spartan, if I'm right. You are? I sensed it in the way you fought. Aggressive, but not reckless. My name's Roxana. Cassandra. Next on the agenda is archery training. Are you ready? I'm ready. So eager. Well, a shipment of wolves has wrecked on shore nearby. They were meant to be part of the battle. But now, there are practice targets. Let's go hunting. We're a safe distance here. Now shoot these cursed wolves before they start taking down the local children. I'll see if there isn't a thing or two I can learn from you. It's nice to be out here. Just the two of us. Is that right? There were a lot of onlookers when we sparred. You'll be happy to know the rest of our training will be more... private. On with the hunt. I can always use more pelts. A true champion. I knew it. Ready your bow. <laughs>
exactly the archery training I was hoping for. The wolves are dead. That's what matters. If you say so. How much more training will we do before I can enter the battle? What? You don't want to spend more time with me? This time with you has been... I don't know what to say. Say no more. In a strange way, I see my own reflection in you. Yes. We've only just met, and yet we have a... connection. You're a unique creature, Cassandra. There's one more step to our training. Where to? My house. Shall we continue? Now that we've saved the children of Idre from a pack of hungry wolves... I guess we can move on? You jest, but that was a real nuisance we dealt with. Your choices have an impact, Cassandra. Your actions have already benefited the people here. So, shall we complete our training? We do have unfinished business. The training? Or the company? We've been having so much fun. Fighting each other, killing wolves. Go on. I think you'll like this next challenge. Yeah? We're going to have a foot race. First one to the high point on the island wins. I'm ready. You said race to the high point? Yes. The plateau on the other side of town. When I say go, the race is on. Three, two, one, go! Come on, champion! Is that all you've got? It's not over yet! Fast, even with all that gear. It's easy to forget how beautiful it is here. When you're training so hard, you mean? All this training leaves no time for fun. I can tell you're holding something back. Maybe. I come up here to remind myself to live in the moment. I can see how that might work. <laughs> I'm telling you, he was never fully dressed. And some people on Kithira built a statue to this man. Malakas <laughs> Embedocles. What became of him? That's Melos Island right there, where so many warriors go to die. At the battle, we may have to fight each other, and only one of us will survive. I thought you came up here to live in the moment. How's this for in the moment? Let's make it more than a moment. Must you wear so many layers? Comes with the job, I guess. I guess this is goodbye. Until the battle, I mean. Let's not make this difficult. I can't help thinking... We don't have to cross swords. 
You could skip the battle as easy as I can, but you won't. You're right. Goodbye, Roxana. For the battle of one. I met Roxana on Idria. She says you're the one to talk to about entering the battle on Melos. Indeed, I am. My name's Rakios. Cassandra, I'm interested in competing in this. What did you call it? The Battle of 100 Hands draws warriors from all corners of the Greek world to compete for a large purse. But as competitions go, it's also very deadly. A last person standing type of affair. Killing is how I make my drachmi. This battle will be no different. It's true. You have the look of a mythical hero about you. I expect future generations to sing songs in my honor. If you join the battle, you'll have the chance to prove your metal against the best. And because the battle is backed by the most powerful and influential people in the Greek world, the purse is always growing. If you mean the people I think you mean, then I would like to meet them and... Have a few words. Indeed. They are the kind of people I would never... You know, you do look like someone I've met before. Another fierce warrior. Family resemblance, perhaps. You mean Demos? Then this battle is backed by the cult. Of course, I can't talk about that. Not with any old challenger, but become the champion of the Battle of 100 Hands, and I'll tell you all I know. I want to fight in the battle. I thought you might. The only rule is that every competitor must train with another competitor, and they must vouch for each other. I've already met Roxana on Idria. So I've heard. She was going to be my top recommendation, as she's amongst our highest ranked contenders. If you can train with her, then there is certainly a place for you in the battle. I'm ready to compete. Indeed. Roxana tells me your training went well. Meet me inside the city gates. The battle will begin soon. each other. Whether it is the sharpest sword in the Athenian army, or the broadest shield Sparta can master, all now stand alone against the many. At our climax, the final two will face off on a special battlefield, but only one will be called champion. Let the battle of 100 hands begin! Remember that horn! You'll hear it throughout the battle, marking your progress! Now, fight! You! Stop! You don't stand a chance! You'll never beat me! Return to Rakios. 
little challenger. Indeed there is. Patience, Cassandra, patience. Tell me, Drakios, is it Roxana? Is she alive? Your final challenger approaches! Finish this in the shadow of the volcano in the east. It seems like the training has paid off. I was about to say the same. Enough chatter. Our patrons demand a champion. Finish this. We can lay down our weapons. There's nothing more to prove. This is outrageous! Roxana, only one of you can win the battle and become champion. We don't have to kill each other. Think of the riches, Roxana! Indeed, everything you've dreamed of is almost within your grasp! We can walk away. Only one of you can walk away a legend! The stakes were clear from the beginning, Cassandra. Don't do this. I'm so close. Enough! The battle must end now! No. Roxana, we decide how this ends, not him. I'm beginning to think there are things more important than riches and glory. Join me on my ship. There are more adventures for us out on the Aeon. I will. I will join you. No! You must finish the battle! It's over, Drakios. It's over. When I say it's over. Guards! Thank you, champion. So, I'll see you at my ship? Yes. I'm ready to go wherever the sea wind takes us. Wherever it is. Adventure awaits. For both of us now. What's wrong? My workers are sick. At this rate, I won't be able to feed my own family, never mind theirs. The good news is, this isn't the work of the gods, but a sickness of the body. The throat in particular. I could treat the workers, if I had my medical supplies. Mistios, would you get them for me? I wouldn't want them to suffer. Well said. Such goodwill deserves a reward, doesn't it? Huh? Oh, 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 of course, of course, yes. I have something worthwhile to trade for the service. Will you do it? I'll find your supplies. Excellent. My tools are in Ancient Pearl, and the drugs are in Lover's Bay. I'll come back with your supplies. The faster you do, the sooner I can help the workers. Physician's tools. I have what the physician asked for. I should take it back to the vineyard. I found your supplies. Thank you. These are specialized items. I couldn't have replaced them in time. 
Oh, my grapes are saved! I get the feeling that's all you've cared about from the start. Without grapes, there is no work! By healing the workers, you've saved my farm. Take this. 